Perfect. Hello, I'm E.W. Ziffrin. We all know that appearances can be deceiving. Take the Baker family, for instance. On the surface, they appear to be a typical, normal American family with values such as kindness, love, generosity, and human warmth. But as my all-seeing camera penetrates that thin veneer, you'll find the kind of insidious, shallow, pathetic narcissism indicative of why our country's in the mess it's in today. So enjoy. And if you find any similarities with your own family, my condolences. Holy shit. Fucking A. Hey, Min, this music is excellent. What is it? Korean disco. And I don't want to hear any nasty cracks about my people's language. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Your people are the good kind of immigrants. You come to our country, you learn English, and you don't expect Korean to be spoken in schools paid for by American tax dollars. You know what that says to me? It's that you understand that our language is superior. I'm <laughs> sick Man, stop cursing Billy. Billy, stop giving Min reasons to curse. Good morning. What, what did he say? Oh, that's right. You're not bilingual. Man. They said that a mountain lion was spotted in Sherman Oaks, and uh, they think he may have eaten a neighbor's cat? Cat? No, that's a dog in Korean. First is crime, then pollution, then earthquakes. Now it's mountain lions. No. Time and again, environmentalists have lobbied against legislation that would have allowed wildlife to compete against man. And with our superior firepower, we would have wiped them out. Thus, no mountain lions. Mom. Hi, sweetie. How was your date last night? Jeffrey is the nicest, coolest, most confident guy I've been out with since the blacksmith. I feel so relaxed around him. Well, I'm impressed. I didn't feel that way with Daddy until after our second anniversary. Sweetie, our little girl's growing up. Oh, that's nice. So when do we get to meet him? Jeffrey's coming tonight to pick me up. <laughs> Sanford, hmm. if you have a little free time today, you might want to come with me to Chief Running Deer's class. He's going to teach us how to heal superficial wounds by using the skin of dead animals. Oh, great. Hey, maybe he can teach me how to do cheek implants by dancing naked around a fire. Check it out. In an hour, I'm going to be smiling big. And when you see the change, you're going to be smiling big, too. You know, I'd be smiling big if you dropped that angry young black man thing. <laughs> hey, cut that noise. Listen, Sanford, Chief Running Deer's a real medicine man of the Oglala Lakota tribe of Sioux American Indians. Well, then he's probably qualified to work for an HMO. Well, you see, the red man and the black man are bounded by a brotherhood of pain. In fact, why have been doing his dance on them even longer than on the brothers? Well, at least they finally got it and wised up and got into the gambling business. And you don't see them whining about being wiped out in large numbers anymore. Oh, so what you saying? My peoples ain't got the same smarts as the red man? Yo, T, you get it, man. He ain't worth it. Hey, doctor, I had a dream about you last night. Uh, my parents were in their respective jail cells. They were being attacked by the investors that they ripped off. Was I there? Uh, no, Uncle Sanford, they all had hair. So anyway, doctor, you suddenly showed up and saved them. What was I, a guard? No, you were serving a life sentence for dealing crack. That's it. I'm gonna kill them no, right now. Come on, boys, boys, hey, everybody. everybody. Mountain lion was spotted in Sherman Oaks. They said so on the radio, so be careful. Hello, Sandra. Did you catch that game? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you owe me five big ones, pal. Who's Sandra? Well, let me just put it to you this way. There are times when wrong numbers can be right. Golf Pro Shop? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I must have dialed the wrong number. You don't happen to sell golf balls, do you? Oh, you do play. What's your handicap? Ouch. You could probably have that removed. Yeah, and, and if you need a good plastic surgeon, I'm your guy. Uh, Sanford Baker, and you are? Hi, Sandra. Listen, uh, how do you want to pay up? Cash, credit, or let it ride on the Raiders game? Lunch? Um, well, uh, you, you really you want to get together. Um... 
I just heard something. Was it my stomach? I hope so. Min, I'm running late. Can you add some beads to this dress? Well, if I do, do I still have to vacuum? Of course. Pass. Show your mom. Your mom. <laughs> Look. You represent my solidarity with my people, both in what I say and the instrument to which I say it. How does a gold tooth do that? Well, see, black people throughout history has lost their teeth due to inferior dental care, so they resort to the gold tooth. It certainly doesn't have anything to do with black people. Man, I can't even afford to go to the dentist, let alone get a gold tooth in my mouth. Man, I love Ty, but I really wish he would lighten up. Literally. Tyler, <laughs> you had a tooth removed for no reason? Are you crazy? Do you have any idea how much money your father and I spent on orthodontia for you? Sure, Moss. It fit over my teeth. Your teeth? Man, that's the plural of tooth. Look, I ain't gonna take it out, see? It's a symbol of all the hard times I've seen as a black man. And you, my too soft sister of the Serengeti, should have a whole mouthful of gold. Yeah, right. I'll go stash a gold ring in my mouth tonight, bro. I gotta go. Oh, God, Billy, what is this? It's because of that mountain lion, Aunt Bev. My parents are in jail because of one tragedy. I'm not losing this family to another one. I just don't think guns are the answer. Well, what if that mountain lion were attacking one of your children? Well, there are always alternatives to guns. For instance, if a mountain lion did attack, I could use this taser to stun it. Here. Or, let's see, pepper spray. I could temporarily blind it. Or I could use this sonic blaster to drive it away. See, and if none of that worked, a baseball bat could always be used to knock it unconscious until the authorities could come and put it to sleep humanely. I just don't think guns are the answer. Look, Billy, I know your parents going to prison was traumatic for you. Well, they ain't doing nothing but soft white man, Tom. That's right. Yeah, that's because white-collar crimes are more civilized than ghetto crimes. Ghetto what crimes? Do you know what? Right. 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 Stop it! Billy, I have told you before, no guns! This cannot be my karma! It's loaded. I'm telling you, Peter, this Sandra's like one of the guys. We have the same sense of humor, the same interests, we both hate the same teams. I told her I was a completely devoted husband. Yeah, exactly. I've got my hands full with two women. Oh, Verna just got out of the hospital. No, no, she's fine. She volunteered for an experimental anti-anxiety beverage. I hope to God it works. Up your butt! <laughs> to stay, but um, I gotta go. I have a large, lovely meeting in 20 minutes. Well, listen, it was great finally getting a chance to meet you. Sanford, I had a blast. <laughs> um, maybe we can get together, play a little golf, uh, go to a ball game. I'm telling you, Peter, she just wants to be friends. All right, we're on. Sure. Okay, good. And okay. listen, you better call me if you have any more jokes. Okay, okay. Especially the ones about the fish. <laughs> okay, you got it. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, there's another upside to this. Evidently, she knows a lot of overweight people. Exactly. Great liposuction potential. If John Wayne saw this, he'd probably shoot her. Hi, hon. What you doing? Hi, honey. Oh, I'm practicing for the sacred Indian purification ritual. It's so exciting, Sanford. Chief Running Deer just spoke with me, and he's agreed to lead our entire family in a sweat lodge ceremony. Sweat lodge? Oh, Sanford, you gotta do it. It'll cleanse your soul. I think that's why we have the shower massage. No thanks, not my thing. Oh, but it's free. You just have to make a donation to the tribe. Uh, Hi, yo. <laughs> sure the Indians got a bum deal. How could you not feel terrible about what happened to them? For God's sake, we committed genocide against them. But I guess they're doing okay now with their casinos. They're making billions. So why do they feel the need to take advantage of gullible New Age flakes like my wife? I mean, yes, genocide is bad enough, but two wrongs don't make a right. So, whoa, 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 what's in your mouth? <laughs> I'm celebrating our people's history of inadequate dental care. Let me see that. Oh, for God's sake, you look like a gang member. What kind of racist comment is that? My gold plate's a symbol of my fraud. It lets people know who I am. Yeah, you're an idiot. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome, doctor. I don't care what y'all say. Stand in my mouth. 
My dance is coming loose. Why don't you take that damn thing out? Hi, I'm here to pick up Tiffany. Oh, you must be Jeffrey. Yes. Oh, well, I'm Beverly Young. I'm nice Tiffany's to meet you. mother. Jeffrey's different. Well, most guys are really nervous when they ask me out. I usually see one of their eyelids twitching where they have this tremor in their voice. But Jeffrey's so confident. He just knows he's a great guy, even if he isn't. And that's why I think he is. Because he thinks he is, even if he's not. <laughs> Stay tuned, Sherman Oaks aficionados, as Dr. Baker's business collides with his daughter's pleasure. Tyler and Dr. Sanford. Yeah. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Sanford Baker. Dr. Baker, do you remember me? I uh, never forget a patient. You paid with a MasterCard, right? Right. Wow. Um, Tiffany's the first girl I dated since the procedure. It's some coincidence, huh? Yeah. Uh, has she, uh... Uh, no. Jeffrey! Hi! Tiff, you look great. Thanks. Let's go. Bye, guys. Have a yeah. good time. Thanks. I can always tell when something's bothering Sanford. He gets this weird look in his eye. Kind of like the look in Crazy Horse's eyes when he was roaming the plains searching for the great bald eagle god. Okay, Sanford, what was that all about? What? Sanford. Oh, um, he, he's a uh, patient. Really? What do you have done? Well, uh, it was a, uh... Oh, man, no, oh, you didn't. No, you didn't. Tyler, please. <laughs> Yo, Dr. B, would you have his Johnson Enlarge? Wait. <laughs> oh, Stanford, a penile enlargement? That's really funny. <laughs> oh, that's not... Hey, hey, you know what? Old, I would like to think that you two are a little more mature than this. Yeah, yeah. but we're not. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> run, run, Oh, Stanford, oh. you know she really likes him a lot. Isn't it great that you probably enabled her to have a more powerful orgasm? Aw, oh, jeez, Beverly. All right, Verna. I'm in the park. I'm here. Where the hell are you already? For God's sake, would you come out? I'm wearing a Rolex. I'm ripe for the pickings. Jesus Christ. Oh, God! Oh, oh. What the hell are you doing here? Put something on... For God's sake, this is a public park. Oh, the ground is all wet. Oh, I know. Isn't it sensuous? Oh, for God's sake, would you put some clothes back on to go see your shrink? Oh, oh come on. For what, Sam? We live dangerously. I'm living dangerously. I'm in a public park. Mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute. Th there's people coming. Get away. Oh, there's people. Having people watch is such a turn on. Great. Then you're going to love jail because there's no privacy there. Oh, pretend you're a mucker and I'm your prey. Oh, for God's sake, will you put some clothes back on? Let's let's just go to the motel. Help! Oh, please! No matter with you, oh, you take me, you mind? animal. Oh, help me! Quiet. Help me! Help me! Help! Just help! Just, just go! Stop, Dave! Stop, bird! How do you feel about your father enlarging your sister's boyfriend's? Oh my gosh! What? Damn! What's wrong with him? Man, it's his tooth is hurting him. Why don't you take that damn thing out? Tell him I don't trust. I ain't going down with that kind. What of am stuff, I? Am you ever interpreter now? Tell him. Yo, he says it's whack because he doesn't trust the guy who augments what nature gave him. Oh, but what if nature cheated you, so to speak? <laughs> so I'm uh, down my gland on Becca. Man, no, I ain't saying that. I told him I'm strong, huh? Yo, man, he says that only whitey feels inadequate in that department. Oh, okay, well, and black man doesn't have to change because uh, like culturally rhino. he can accept who he is. Right. Well, how do you explain Michael Jackson? <laughs> yeah. Fucking gun. Hee hee. I think with. Ty's trying to say that Michael Jackson's had every kind of plastic surgery possible. Exactly. Except for that, which kind of makes his point. What you doing with the roast beef? Well, since Aunt Bev won't let me use firepower to pluck that mountain lion, I decided to trap it instead to protect the American dream. I don't see the connection. Well, part of that dream includes a nice life in the suburbs, away from the dangers of predators, whether they be mountain lions or welfare mothers from the inner city. You know, you ought to be careful with this gun, kid. You could shoot your eye out. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a great round, Sandy. Oh, you know, next time, I'm just going to play better so we can finish faster and hit the bar sooner for some drinks. <laughs> okay, but next time, I'm buying. Oh, Sanford, I had a wonderful time. Yeah, me too. Um, I'll, um, I'll give you a call next week. Okay, um... 
You know, uh, this girlfriend of mine, she canceled lunch for tomorrow. Uh, we could meet then if you're free. Well, I'm not free, but I'm reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, as I said, I've, I've got a pretty heavy uh, surgery schedule, so. Well, you know, you gotta eat lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I do. It's just usually a quick one right at my desk, so. I eat quickly. Uh, well, if there's a big change in my schedule, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Just seems to me that if you really wanted to make the time, you could. <laughs> Life of a surgeon, you know. <laughs> well, uh, see ya. Goodbye. Bye. While the Bakers went out to a movie, I stayed home and installed the camera in Tiffany's bedroom. Now, I know what you're thinking. But you have to understand something. This is all part of the art of documentary filmmaking. Really. <laughs> oh my god. What's so funny? Oh my god. Um, nothing. <laughs> well, what is it? Nothing. Um, you're just so wide. <laughs> oh, Stanford, you're going to get so much out of the sweat lodge. Thank you. I understand that after a couple of hours, you start to hallucinate, and then you see a vision of the future. Well, if it's anything like the present, I think I can do without it. Oh, man, you're invited to the sweat lodge, too. Oh, no thanks. I sweat plenty working around here for very low wages. Min, if you're going to be a part of our family, you're going to have to have a clean soul. Now, please don't make me have to get a more enlightened domestic. Mom, Jeffrey broke up with me. Hmm? Oh, what happened? Well, I laughed at his penis. <coughs> <laughs> it was just so weird looking. Hey, don't blame me. It was Jeffrey's idea. He kept saying, width, not length, width, not length. I tried to talk him out of it, but he insisted. I always do what my patients want. And of course, now he's blaming me for it. I just want to go on record as saying that Sanford Baker knows how to make a penis big. Tiffany, how bad could it have looked? Well, do we have to talk about this? Well, you know how some guys are shaped like a Snickers mm -hmm. and some guys are shaped like a Baby Ruth? Mm -hmm. Well, Jeffrey's a chunky. Oh, I, I can't listen to this. I can't listen to this. I'm sorry, sorry. Sanford. <laughs> hey, I got the mountain lion. Chunky. Hey, guys, I got the mountain lion. What? I got the mountain lion. I got the mountain lion. What? Come on. What? That's not a mountain. That's, that's a skunk. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Mary, for oh, God's God. sake. Oh. No, don't bring him to help. No. Oh, it looks like a mountain lion. Stay out here all night. Min didn't get skunked because she was at her second job, making people feel horny fondling more than just the phone. <laughs> oh, baby, yeah. Oh, your DNA is so twisted. You make me feel so fine. And you don't even leave fingerprints. Now, if tonight goes right, you're going to wake up feeling guilty, guilty, guilty. So slap yourself with the glove. Snap those handcuffs on and tie yourself to the steering wheel of the Bronco. That's right, baby. Because this time I want to see you wiggle out of this one, killer. <gasps> oh, sorry. Time's up. Dr. Baker. Hi, Sandra. Sandra, why are you calling me here? Well, I just, I... No, I, I told you I'm going to be very, very busy this week. No, of course I appreciate your friendship. It's nice to hear your voice, too. Let me hear it again. All, all right, but this is the last time. Up your bum! <laughs> and up his bank account, too. Mrs. Baker hired Chief Running Deer's son, Melvin, to build the sweat lodge. I told you the door has to face east. Why? Because the light of the wisdom comes from that direction. Idiot. Ah, damn! What's the matter, Tyler? What happened to my gold piece? All right, now what's going on? Oh. I'm guessing his tooth is infected. 
Excellent diagnosis, doctor. Would you get that stupid thing out of your mouth? No way, man. He was trying to rob me of my blackness. <sighs> Look, I'm going to give you some antibiotics. If that doesn't start clearing up by tomorrow, your blackness and your mouth are going to see Dr. Kitan. Okay. But if my tooth comes out, a gold one's going in, here. Yeah? <laughs> Stop seeing each other? But why, Samford? I mean, I don't understand. I, I let you beat me at golf. You, you wait a minute. You, uh, you know, it was just not one of my better ideas. I'm sorry. I... It's because I'm fat, isn't it? No, good God. That has nothing to do with oh, that. Oh, sure, sure. The phone is fine. But as soon as you see me, suddenly you don't want to sleep with me anymore. I, I, I never said I wanted to Well, you are not going to get away with it. What? Because fat is fabulous. Large is lovely. You know, I... fat is fabulous. Your voice down, please. Large is lovely. Yes. Fat is fabulous. Large is lovely. Just... Fat is fabulous. Large is lovely. Oh, fat is fabulous. I'm telling you, Joe, she's crazy. She's been following me, but uh, I think I lost her. Fat is fabulous. Large is lovely. Fat is fabulous. Large is lovely. You, that is fabulous. Keep your voice down, please. My wife is in there. Well, maybe she should learn about us. I'm tired of all these secrets. What secrets? We don't have any secrets. Would you just go away, please? Oh, no, Sanford Baker. You're not going to get away with this. You're going to find out by sleeping with me that fat is fabulous. No, no, no just please, just, just. Just go away. Just, just Large go away. Lovely. That is fabulous. Leave me alone. Large is lovely. Just, that is fabulous. Please, just leave Large me alone. Large is lovely. Sanford, look. That is fabulous. Large is lovely. That is fabulous. is suing me for malpractice. Well, does he have a case? No, but who needs the embarrassment? You know, if the newspapers get a hold of this, my penile enlargement business is going to shrink to nothing. I guess I'll end up having to pay him off. Jeez. Well, did you call a lawyer? Yeah, lawyer said I should get Tiffany to sleep with him. Sanford, don't you dare. No, oh, I'll, I'll write a check. I'll write a check. I will. Jeffrey, please just listen to me. Normally, I don't care if a guy is big or small or whatever. It's what you do with it that counts. Tina, Jeffrey hung up on me. But if a guy is severely misshapen, I think it's only fair that a girl gets some warning. Tiff, the guy's got problems. That's why Jeffrey won't call me anymore. He feels that I won't accept him, and he's wrong. I actually like him more. Physical stuff shouldn't be such a big deal to people. I really admire a guy that has confidence, and especially somebody that can make me laugh. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, poo. What's the matter? Feeling too much empathy for something again? No, it's not that. I just spoke to Chief Running Deer. He can't make it tonight. I'm stuck on the reservation. Apparently, some Japanese gambler's $100 million ahead of the blackjack table, and he has to stay and put a curse on him. Hmm. Have you sent in that donation yet? No. Why? Why don't you leave the ceremony yourself? Oh, Sanford, I didn't think you cared one way or the other. <laughs> hi oh, Pila Maya, Pila Maya, hi oh. By bowing low. We remember that we are nothing compared with you, O Wakantaka, who are everything. Now bow. O Wakantaka, let the steam of the four powers of the world cleanse our souls. <coughs> okay, fellow spirit travelers, now we must somehow find our way into a trance so that we may be blessed and see a vision. There is no ventilation in here. For real? Well, wow. if there were any ventilation in here, it wouldn't be a sweat lodge, now would it? Be quiet and pray. hi <coughs> oh Pila Maya, Pila Maya, hi oh hi oh Pila Maya, Pila Maya. Oh,
always remember, move stun-wise. Come on, everybody, chant. More energy. Chant like your soul depend on finding the great spirit. <laughs> Out bad spirits. In good spirits. Out bad spirits. In good spirits. Honey, honey, Out stop. Enough, enough already. Look, we're dehydrated. We need water. This is getting dangerous. Come on. Sanford, you're ruining it for the rest of us. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. Okay, we can go inside. Okay, no, fine. No, no. I work my butt off so that you can all be part of something special. And this is the thanks I get? Well, great. Do me a favor. Just go. Get out. Go to some over-sanitized health spa and see if I care. But I'll tell you one thing. You've got no shot at the great spirit coming here if he smells Lysol. I'll take okay, my chance. Okay, well, see you later. Thank you for a lot. What was that? Oh, my God. It's, 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 it's that mountain lion. <laughs> 300 pounds. I don't care. I'm suffocating. No. Daddy, are we going to die? No, I, don't, I just think the one the mountain lion gets. Don't worry. Beverly, I, uh... Sanford, I... are you in there? I want to talk to you. Who's that? I don't know. I'll look. Zoom in, zoom in. Sanford, I know you're in there. Come on, get out. Run. Mountain lion. Did you call me a mountain? Ah! Oh, help me! I think it's gone. No, really? yeah, it's gone. Hey, everybody. I think we were just saved by a great Indian god, the white buffalo cow woman. Have you come inside already? Dr. Baker reaches out to touch someone who turns out to be touched themselves. Tiffany has overly inflated dreams of young love, only to find that her young love is overly inflated. And Beverly tries to solve her family's existential problems through their sweat glands and almost kills them. Throw in a mountain lion and poor dental hygiene, and you get the kind of film that even the French surrealists would have found to be weird. But I don't. I live with this family, and nothing will ever surprise me again. <laughs> Chief Running Deer is so wonderful. And his wisdom doesn't conflict with anything I've learned in the past. Instead, it's allowed me to drop pieces of old beliefs and replace them with new ones, as well as do some patchwork on old belief systems which conflicted with each other, but that sometimes work in isolated circumstances. You know, ones that don't need to be replaced, just updated. I just want to go on record as saying that Sanford Baker knows how to make a penis big. <laughs>